you want to join these two boards together and they have different widths and in order to do so you need to do some marking uh, of the right angle and then cut them so that they can be properly joined. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do precisely that using only straight edge with a ruler, a pencil and a bit of math. So let's start by drawing my two boards. So I have my board number one right here. And I know that this board is going to have a thickness of T1. And I have my second board over here. Which is going to have a thickness of T2. This is board number two. Now the question is how to join these together at an angle that I know. Let's call this angle A12. And uh, you could do this by, for instance, cutting board number two through this side. And then board number one through this side. But a far more elegant solution is when you cut this right through the middle. Now, before we can figure out how to mark and cut through this particular line, I think it's interesting to look at some of the properties of trigonometry that are going to be interesting. The first one is that in any triangle, you have three angles, alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3 inside angles. And I know that the sum of alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 equals 180 degrees. And in fact, if I add another triangle right here, then the total sum is going to be 360 degrees. In fact, I can say that for any polygon of size n, the sum is going to be n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So this is the first property that we're going to be using. The second set of properties are related to uh, angles, uh, or sorry, to triangles, where one of the angles, one of the inside angles, is exactly 90 degrees. So let me call this the base, this is going to be the side A, this is going to be the long side H, and the top angle I'm going to call it alpha again. So there are a few properties, in particular three properties, that I can uh, uh, use uh, to my advantage. The first one is that the tangent of alpha equals the base divided by the height A. The second one is that the sine of alpha equals the base divided by the long side h. And the third one is the cosine of alpha equals the height divided by the long side h. And we are particularly interested in these two over here, right? These are the ones that we're going to be using for uh, making our markings on our cutting. With the set of properties that we have defined, what we need to find out is if we can mark and cut through this line in both boards. And uh, uh, remember that I do have a straight edge, so the first thing I know for sure is that at this particular point in my boards, I can define a straight line. So an, a line that has a 90 degree angle with respect to the sides of my board. And I can do the same on this side, on the second board, where this line is going to be 90 degrees. So now, this triangle that is formed over here, so this triangle, looks very similar to the triangle where we defined the properties for, in which this angle is straight. So in fact, I'm going to, I'm going to call this distance over here, I'm going to call it D1. Uh, this is the thickness of my board, T1, and this is my angle alpha. So this basically means that if I want to find out D1, and I know T1, I only need to find out what the size of alpha is, so what's that angle. And for that I can use a couple of interesting properties. So the first one is that I know the angle A12, and I know that because the sides of my boards are parallel, this angle is also going to be A12. And in fact, this angle is also going to be A12. And because uh, the sides are again parallel, I know that B, angle B, which is the other side, is going to be exactly the same as angle B. So we're going to use now this property over here. So I know that the sum of all these four angles, so A12, A12, B and B, needs to be 360 degrees. So in fact, I can write that 360 degrees must be the same as 2 times A12 plus 2 times the angle B. So if I want to find out B, this is going to be 360 minus 2 times A12 divided by 2. So I can calculate my angle B. This is not a problem. So now the question is, all right, I have the angle, I have the angle B. 
can I know the angle alpha? And the answer is simple, yes, because I know that the total sum of both, both angles needs to be 90 degrees. Therefore, I know that my angle alpha must be 90 degrees minus my angle B. So yes, I can find out my angle alpha. So this means that if I look again at this particular scenario and I do the matching together with my formulation right here, I can write down that the uh, side that I'm interested in, which is D1, must be the tangent of alpha times the thickness of my board. If I plug in the uh, angles that I know, so D1 equals the tangent of 90 minus B times the thickness of my board. So yes, I can calculate the distance D1, which means that I can calculate this distance over here and, uh, and uh, so that I can then start cutting my yellow line. Now, I can do exactly the same for the second distance that I need, which is this line right over there. And in this case, the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of the variable. So I have the thickness of my board 2, I have my angle alpha right here, which happens to be exactly the same as before, so that is not changing. And the only thing I need to calculate is the distance d capital 1. And in this case, I'm going to use a different property. So I'm going to use the cosine property, right? So I know that my uh, distance d1, which is again, if you look carefully, this is going to be the long side of the triangle. So what we call the side h. So I know that this is going to be my thickness. So the thickness of the board t2 divided by the cosine of alpha. And again, if I plug in my values for alpha, I end up with, with T2 divided the cosine of 90 minus my angle B. There you go. I can calculate also distance D1. So the only thing I need to do is take these points of reference, draw a straight line, measure D1 and D1, so D capital and D small, and then the only thing I need to do is cut through this line over there. Now, if I would do exactly the same, but for the other board, then what I will find out is that these formulas very much are the same. So I will end up with D2, which equals to the tangent of 90 minus B times D2. And I will end up with D2, which equals D1 divided the cosine of 90 minus B. So there you have it. I have four numbers, d1, d1, d2, d2, that will allow me to cut both boards through this particular line over here. So let me show you how this looks in reality. So I've gone ahead and I've marked my two boards. So I've drawn basically an orthogonal line right there. And then the two distances, d1 and d capital 1, and uh, um, then um, draw a line across them. And at this, I've done the same for board number two. So there's an orthogonal line, two distances, and then just joining the distances. So the only thing left is to actually cut through the lines that join the two points that I've measured in both boards and then see how they fit together. That's it. I cut board number one across the line between the two uh, places that I measured, board number two across the same line. And then what you can see is that when you join them together, there you go. They joined perfectly at an angle of 108 degrees, which is the random angle I uh, sort of uh, selected. They fit perfectly into each other. And uh, I only used a pen, straight edge, and a very simple hand. Uh, so, so, I hope you enjoy.